Well, this Financing for Development Conference is hugely important because it's a chance for the whole world to come together and say, if we're going to be serious about ending extreme poverty, we need serious resources for emerging markets, for infrastructure, for health, for power, for agriculture, for financial services. And the only way you're going to get those resources is by unlocking massive amounts of private and commercial investment. Now, we have tried to do that and in some cases have been successful. Power Africa has already mobilized tens of billions of dollars of financial commitments from private investors for African power sector activities. Our new alliance for food security, which is really a part of Feed the Future, has not only attracted $10 billion of commercial agricultural investment commitments, but we've seen more than a billion already invested in Africa. And those investments have reached more than two and a half million farm households and moved those households out of poverty. So, you know, we're seeing the seeds of important early success, but the Financing for Development Conference is a chance for the whole world to embrace this new model and for us to be much more effective and aggressive at bringing commercial investment to areas like infrastructure where there are huge deficits and needs. If, if there's one thing that the U.S. could take to Addis Ababa and say, okay, this is what we're going to offer, this is what we're going to do. I mean, you know, uh, President George Bush announced uh, MCC at a financing conference, didn't he? He created the Millennium Challenge Corporation, some big thing that the Americans could put on the table and say, come on, follow our lead. What might it or should it be? Well, others will figure that out in the coming months uh, as we lead up to that conference. But I would point out, we're not kind of pursuing leadership by conference here. President Obama took office, right away said that development is going to be a major part of the way I address the world in terms of projecting American power. As the USAID Administrator, I have been part of important National Security Council deliberations and my team has been a part of the National Security Team in a way that has been unprecedented in American foreign policy history. We rebuilt USAID by doubling its foreign service and by building its civil, uh, civilian staffing such that we have the capacity to lead major presidential initiatives like Feed the Future and Power Africa. And as you see in the new national security strategy, elevating development is a major part of how we address challenges from any extreme poverty to fighting hunger and child survival to addressing the crisis in the Middle East and, and around Ukraine. So, you know, I, I would say that this has been an administration that's been extraordinarily committed to development. Our budgets have been uh, far higher than they were previously. Uh, Congress has, on a bipartisan basis, supported that robust vision of results-oriented development, and we're not waiting for a conference in year seven to kind of make that statement.